What's up, what's up my people? It's me again, your boy Marcel Kaga with another video. And guys, today I'm going to show you the construction update of uh, Sousa Viaduct. So guys, uh, before I continue, I have a friend here. She's also a YouTuber. And uh, she she came here to, to visit us and uh, do some videos yeah. and show around. So <laughs> let her introduce herself. I'm Lucy Kreya from Nairobi. I, I came all the way to... Uh, just to see all this project guys and to show you the this uh, ongoing construction here in Mombasa and uh, I'm glad to be hosted by Moses because he have taken me through all this I don't know how I could have uh, come on all the way alone and he have taken me through and uh, we have the best best channel in Mombasa yeah. so support him and uh, glad to see him grow and doing good all that good stuff so so guys i think you've heard what she said also support us subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell like our videos and share them so guys uh let's continue the video yeah, sure. so i was telling them that i'm i'm going to show them the construction update of this uh the viaduct, viaduct. Mm -hmm. and uh this viaduct is part of the dungukudu bypass mm -hmm. phase two, phase two yeah. so we are just going to take you around and uh, show you how the construction is going on. And uh, right now I'm, I'm on, uh, this is the Dunkundu Bypass Phase 2. I told you earlier that uh, this road is, is the one that is still lagging behind. The first one was already completed, Phase 2, Phase 3 is also completed. So, let's go. So guys, this is the Sunza Viaduct. It is found in Sunza area and it is part of the Dungukundu Bypass Phase 2. This viaduct is mainly built because Sunza area is a peninsula. And for those who don't know what a peninsula is, it's an area or a landmass that is covered by water on most of its borders, but not all of them. So that's why this viaduct was built, because uh, when the ocean currents are high, water normally overflows. So if it wasn't built, water could be flowing over the road and uh, that is dangerous you can see for yourself even so this viaduct is about 700 and something meters and uh, it is being slowly built you know it's like a bridge but i think the most important or hard parts is uh, installing those uh, concrete beams yeah uh, and for information this is the largest and only viaduct in mombasa and it is part of the most or the second most expensive road in kenya per kilometer costing about three billion per kilometer just after the nairobi expressway so guys please enjoy i said take you around and don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos okay